There are around 4,000 Chinese tigers. Now there are fewer than 100, and unless something is done quickly, one of the world's rarest and most beautiful animals will disappear forever. So the authorities in China have come up with a novel answer. They've sent some of the animals to South Africa to learn how to live and, of course, hunt in the wild. For tonight's special report, Ola Guerin looks at the crucial tiger training, which may help a species survive. The open grassland of the Free State, South Africa's heartland. And under the African sun, South China tigers. Meet Tiger Woods, two years old, born in Shanghai Zoo, brought here for what is called rewilding. He's got company, Madonna and Cathay. The aim is to help them hunt and breed and in the coming years, send their offspring back to the wild in China. Li Chuan, a former fashion executive from Beijing, stays close to her beloved tigers. When I see her, I feel like going hugging her, but I know that I can't, because I'm trying to train them to, you know, to, to be wild. Impressed by South African conservation techniques, she founded the Lahu Valley Reserve and persuaded the Chinese government to send the tigers here. We're giving them an ideal environment that's controlled and monitored so they can figure out the mistakes they make themselves. If they can't hunt the first time, they can figure out why. And they have figured out a lot. At the start, they couldn't handle a chicken carcass. But look at Tiger Woods here catching an antelope. Now the tigers are proven killers. No one approaches them on foot. We made a careful entry into their hunting ground. This is probably the only place in the world today where you'll find these tigers living outside of a cage. Now we've been told the three here have never tried to attack a human, but we're keeping a safe distance here inside this truck. That's because if we got down and tried to run, they could catch us within seconds. Then it begins, hunter and hunted. Tiger Woods moves in, but no luck this time. He's being a bit silly at the moment. He's just following the blessed buck. He's not using stalking techniques. Um, he's in the open grass and obviously they can see him coming. He tries again a more vulnerable prey. The small antelope desperate to escape. Tiger Woods loses out. He'll be fed anyway by the staff here. The project has its critics and it may fail. A fourth tiger brought here didn't survive. But this is a gamble on saving a species. Orla Giran, BBC News, Lahu Valley Reserve.